These are the reason that we have jobs in health insurance. We love them. Spit on them. <laughs> uh, we're ski bombs. We're not business people. We're not business managers. We're not. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into today's video, I do want to say that I look ridiculous. Ridiculously good. <laughs> Because I am wearing full Pit Viper here. Um, and I know you guys like Pit Viper, so we wanted to let you guys know that if you follow the link in our description, you can actually get 15% off your entire order of Pit Viper. And you can look like me. So, go ahead and do that when you're done with this video. Watch this video first because Spencer is hilarious and this video is awesome. And look at these. You can get these too. Okay. Time for the video. Also, I'm wearing pajamas. What up? I'm Spencer from Pit Viper. We're out here in front of the Pit Viper van at the Pit Viper Money Factory. That's our warehouse, our office, distribution, all that. Let's go check it out, give you guys a quick tour. There's not too much to see right now because we're kind of under some major renovation. But as you can see, we got this beautiful, beautiful building here in beautiful South Salt Lake City, Utah. The hearse isn't here. The hearse lives somewhere else. We do have, a, we have the American flag limo right here. This is the one that we gave away on the 4th of July. I just had Mike from... Uh, Mike from Wisconsin, he's picking it up October 16th. I'm flying him out and his buddy to come pick it up. We only have so much vehicle storage here, the hearse, the other limos. There's, I think, six limos right now. They're all stored at Jim's lot. Whatever, we'll go inside and check it out. Mask on. All right, welcome to the warehouse. This is where we ship all the pit vipers out. We got Justin out here helping out. It's a little late, 4.30. So after 4.20, all the boys go home. I don't know why. So we normally have a bunch of people in here shipping. We just reorganize things. It looks pretty good. It's pretty efficient in here. We got two computers, which is proof. <laughs> How many do you have? Right? That's pretty cool. We got boxes. We got Honda Helixes. We got two of these bad boys. Big fans. These are empty boxes. This is what we ship them in. So yeah, that's what Justin's doing over there right now. He's building up boxes. And every one of these has jokes all over it. We work very hard for every one of you. Please, read your box. There's, there's literally nothing upstairs right now. Do you want to see upstairs? I want to see upstairs. There's literally nothing up there. We're under full renovation. It's just like white paint and concrete and shit like that. There's Chase's Elite, man. We love our Hondas around here. Big Honda family. Yeah. Oh man, these are cool. These are the skis we did with Folsom Custom Skis last year. It's the Turn Tech. Turn Tech Pro. And this is the Turn Tech Freestyle. It's a little bit shorter. It's like a 190 length. This is the Turn Tech Pro. It's 210. 69 meter radius. Uh, early rise, beautiful. Thank you, Traeger, we love you. A little more storage. As you can see, we have no products. If anyone follows us as a brand, we have no products. You already know, you're waiting on the restock. We're trying our damn best, waiting for stuff to ship in. It'll be here soon, okay? We're trying our best. We'll fill up these shelves and we'll put them in the boxes and we're gonna send them to your home to wear on your face. Anyways, we got a little bit of a photo studio in here. It's pretty cool. We just had to remove all the wardrobe. We normally have tons and tons of wardrobe, just clothes and like just costumes and stuff to try on. It's normally full of it, but renovations and everything, it's all in storage. We'll bring it out. It'll be cooler the next time you're here, I promise. All right, let's go check out. We got a photo shoot going on right now, which is pretty cool. I don't know what it is. Come on, oh, oh. check it out. We're, we're spraying, we're spraying big. Hey, it's still here. Oh, we're at, oh. back in the doobie alley. Oh, hey. yeah. Welcome right, to the spray see. station. That's how they do it at the bar. You, your you guys' is bigger, it. that is for sure. Yeah. yeah. We're promoting these goggles and we're promoting those gloves. So we're spraying champagne all over the place. These things are the absolute best for champagne spray in the market. <laughs> okay. When you're shaking it, just go from like side to side to side, like ah, ah. Ready for blast off. Let, let's make a release. Yeah, please. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Spit on it. <laughs> we have the, the original check from when we finally signed. Travis Pastrana. We've kept that because it's, uh, it's such a legacy. We're so proud of that. We have uh, buffs of our great leaders. This is Chris Garson, dear leader Chris Garson. This is dear leader Chuck Mumford. And this is John Uda, product manager. <laughs> who, he also gets a bust. These are the reason that we have jobs in health insurance. We love them. We're running through the quick pitch of why Pit Viper. These are what Pit Viper look like. You can also see that this is what Pit Viper looks like. We're just a mess. So we do our best, but man, we're still a mess. Anyways, these are the originals, the polycarbonate. So why Pit Viper? Obviously one, looks, right? You can't beat the looks. Two, functionality. We have three points of adjustment. That's your turbo adjustment. You got your e-spot adjustment. You got your nose bender as well. So you can really adjust to all the Pit Vipers to fit all of the different faces, which is really cool. Or even just for like, 
maximum relaxation. You can bust into op turbo, just really show <laughs> off. Or full turbo for maximum wind buck ability. So it's a very functional, amazing piece, but obviously the looks are gonna grab you as well. These are the exciters. That's the Ura. They're a little dusty. Now, now they're just smudgy. We have a smudgeable lens technology, which is something that we patented. We're really proud of that one. Oh yeah. This is our newest frame. This is called the Grand Prix, which is very cool. It's a $49 Pit Viper. Very cool, Z87 rated for safety. They also have removable side pieces for customization. Very cool. Now, obviously your guys' glasses are super rad, really awesome, but I think one thing that makes Pit Viper who you guys are, are your personalities. Mm. Tell me a little bit about how did this all start, the story of Pit Viper, and how you are here today. Besides your parents, obviously, doing the D. Mm. Really? You yeah. gotta go there, dude? <laughs> okay, so the story of Pit Viper, Chuck Mumford, co-founder is out at a ski contest. He's doing these pr uh, professional free ride ski contests. He breaks his sunglasses in the middle of the day. He needs another pair. He ends up at the Army Navy store. So he finds Pit Vipers there. He finds the original 1993 military issued glasses that were Pit Vipers. He buys a pair, brings them to the contest, starts wearing them, and everyone's going nuts. They're like, what are those glasses? Where'd you get them? Keep in mind, at this point, nobody's wearing this style of glasses now. Now Smith's making Pit Vipers, Oakley makes Pit Vipers, every brand makes a pair of Pit Vipers. But at that point, nobody was making Pit Vipers yet. So anyways, he starts wearing those, he goes home, he finds on eBay a box of a thousand of them, orders a thousand pairs of those military surplus, military issued Pit Vipers, and, um, and decides, you know, he's also an artist, so he starts painting them. So he's getting cans of spray paint, and splatter painting the glasses to look just like this. And when they decided on a brand name too, they decided to, to just you know, use a die cut sticker maker and put the stickers on the lenses. So originally all the pit fibers were hand painted it, like at the warehouse and stickered on the lenses. Anyways, all the while, while Chuck's doing this, running this Facebook custom sunglass business, he's living in Chris Garson's driveway in his van. So Chris Garson, our other co-founder, says, hey man, people really like these hand-painted glasses. You keep just trading for beer and stuff and you know, rides up the canyon. Uh, we should try and start a business with it. So Chris and Chuck get together and they, they built a Kickstarter page uh, to raise the money to, to make the molds. So after a big Kickstarter fundraiser, we raised all the money that we asked for and a little bit more. We were able to make the molds and start producing our own pit vipers because instead of this dead stock glasses that were never gonna exist again, we brought them back to life and started making them, you know, and painting them over there, which is really cool. So since then, that was 2014, we've grown, and then we started making polarized pit vipers, and we started making the double wides, now we got the exciters, the Grand Prix of 2000, and a ton more coming, and it's just been growth ever since then, demanding respect and authority at a full turbo speed. And another thing with you guys, I mean, obviously, you're growing insanely. You can see that? <laughs> you are, guys, you guys are, Business-wise, growing in, <laughs> in uh, length and girth, both for sure. Uh, what have been some of your guys' biggest challenges growing on the business front? Mm, yeah, <laughs> so uh, we're ski bombs. We're not business people. We're not business managers. We're not uh, finance people. We're just a group of ski bombs with a passion for sunglasses and taking things not too seriously. So it's been a, that's been the biggest challenge for sure is running a business with uh, people who don't necessarily want to run a business but would rather just go skiing. When you do see like similar designs or people kind of taking or copying you guys, how do you guys deal with that? Is it a compliment? We're, what's your mindset there? Yeah, it's a charity, you know. We're really glad that they can take <laughs> our frame style and start making money as well to hopefully feed their families and give them health insurance as we've been able to do, so. It's, uh, it's the way that we give back to the world. Bad words to live by? Uh, demand, respect, and authority.